Hey, I want to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Ashu Badia on the line, and he's Vice President of Strategy over at Doherty Business Solutions. Ashu, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Adam. Very happy to be here. All right, so uh, I'm excited to get into today's topic, so digital transformation. Um, but before we do that, let's get a little bit further into what you're doing over at Doherty Business Solutions. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Sure, sure. So Doherty Business Solutions, we're a professional services company doing a lot of work within, of course, digital transformation and the like. For a lot of our clients, uh, around three, $400 million in revenue, around 2,000 employees uh, focused very heavily on trying to help our clients uh, to really transform in this new age of digital technology as well as business processes that are taking everyone by a storm. So that's what I do. And my role really entails understanding the why and what of, uh, you know, technology investments for our clients, make sure that they're kind of streamlined for things that they're trying to achieve on the business outcomes front. That's awesome. And uh, I, lo- I love your vantage point because it's a big company, been in business for a long time and uh, and work with different types of clients. So you're, you're, you have a unique vantage point, I would argue, than most. Um, so that being said, digital transformation, where do you want to start with this one? Oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah, that's the billion-dollar question that a lot of our clients ask as well because, as you know, I mean, I think it's almost cliche to say that, you know, digital transformation is all around us. No matter which business journal you open or which technology journal you open these days, you will see the term label there, right? So a lot of our clients, uh, different levels of maturity, you know, are talking about what does this entail? Is it just digitizing your operations? Is it just really looking at customer experience and trying to make sure that your customers are served? Well, what we try to do is put all this in a framework that is not overwhelming for our clients. It's more around the way we position ourselves and tell our clients to think about it is it's almost two-dimensional. So it is definitely an external focus, looking at what your customers and clients want. So that's definitely there to kind of look at, you know, sources of new revenue, new channels, new products that you might bring to them. Definitely a lot of companies are doing that and you've got to keep doing that more and more. But then another dimension is employee experience or workforce transformation. You want to digitize your operations so you can support your employees to give those customers that experience, and especially in this day and age of what has just hit us on the macroeconomic level. A lot of people are working remote. You want to be able to kind of give them that back-end operation for your processes so that you, they're actually using and leveraging things within your own company and assets that are digitized to service their customers. So it sounds overwhelming, but in a very, very nutshell, it's more about customer experience and employee experience together. So I know this is going to vary from um, from company to company, obviously, how long they've been in business, how big they are. I mean, I know there's a lot of variables, but I do know certain themes um, tend to arise over time. So for some of those companies that, you know, you've seen in the past, what is typically, so what's some of those, that, those low-hanging fruit-like opportunity areas that you see companies miss kind of time and time again that you're like, ah, they should be thinking about this? And I'm sure yeah, there's many, yeah, but what are some of the common ones? <laughs> yeah, and you know what, as you know, I mean, in this space, there's so many uh, technology platforms that are kind of evolving and hitting that it's really, you know, you can go out and look at, oh, cloud computing. You can go out and look at artificial intelligence. You can go out and look at social and media. You know, all that is great, but those are all, I think, ingredients of the recipe. I think what we advise our clients is, that yes, ingredients are very important. You got to know your technology tool sets. You got to know your processes. You got to know, you know, your people part of it. But all those ingredients come together only if you have the recipe right, right? So, so that's what is key. So to answer your question, what are the top two or three things? What we're seeing more and more in our clients is whether it's hospitality or retail or manufacturing, what we are seeing is the evolution of thinking through the lens of the customer. And what that means mm-hmm. is, whether you call it, you know, digital design and there's so many, you know, methodologies in the industry. But the idea is think everything in terms of what's going on from the customer's point of view. So just as an example, working with a hospitality client, everything, whether it's a business, you know, travel or a leisure travel, starts with an idea, right? So, so the idea, the search, the booking, so this is all pre-transaction. When, let's say, if you were talking about an airlines, 
the you know the, the airport experience, the onboarding, the in-flight experience, that's all during the transaction. And then afterwards, during post-transaction, what are they doing? How are you recapturing loyalty? All those variables come to kind of say that this is a holistic picture that you got to be thinking to service your customers. I love it. I mean, that makes perfect sense. And uh, and so let's just say, and, and those are great ones, and that's uh, they're great tips. And I think they're it's hard to hit them all at one time, especially depending on the size of the business, right? And obviously, there's a longer term mm-hmm. strategy play. So it, you know, we do what we can as business owners, depending on where you're at, of course, how big your team is. Um, but that being said, um, so let's say that they have some of those components um, mm-hmm. um, taken care of, and let's say maybe they're just slightly more advanced. What are some of the more interesting trends just in general that you see out there now when it comes to digital transformation? What excites you? Yeah. Yeah, I think, to be honest with you, the more you kind of read and follow some of the at least trends within technology evolution itself, kind of shape what people are doing from a business outcome, right? So working with, you know, leaders of a lot of our clients, whether they're from the technology or sometimes these days, frankly, even CFOs are very involved in technology. We used to always say that, right, the, the technology folks have to learn up the business the language, and it's I think changed, the other way right? it's changed so quite, much. When now, now everybody's involved. They're like, "Wait a minute, exactly. all right, I'm, this is my job. Wait a minute, you're not the digital guy." <laughs> Go ahead. It's Sorry, I just laughed because it's changed. It's evolved. Absolutely. We were, believe it or not, we we're working with an insurance firm just recently, and their CFO was involved. We're trying to help the client go to some <laughs> journey to cloud and trying to understand what they need to do to think of storage, compute, etc. And he got involved, and he said, "Okay, I understand this whole capex." conversion to OPEX and you're trying to match revenue and kind of go ramp up, ramp down. But then when you start talking about ecosystems or platforms, explain to me why, because I've read about this. How is it applicable for a conservative (laughs) industry like insurance, right? So we have Mm -hmm. to pretty much take a very simple example and kind of convince him with with the numbers. But the idea was that, you know, just like Procter & Gamble or Coca-Cola had a premium product, right? Coke was very premium many, many years ago middle age elite group would have Coca-Cola access. Now if you go to developing, underdeveloped countries, everyone has a Coke, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Similarly, digital devices are because of, you know, know, technology costs going down or just the broadband lag, they're everywhere. Now, the moment you go into any country, you have platforms where you could be looking at a device. So, Mm -hmm. So the real area of this whole ecosystem is truly global. So what one of the things we have to describe to him, he's like, why is this disruption such a big deal? Well, I think the idea is that it's the pace, it's the reach, and it's the scope. I think those three things make this thing a little more tricky by because things are changing so fast, so the pace is really time warping. The reach is truly global. I mean, look at some of those apps that are coming out from companies like Tencent in China, WeChat. It, it started with chatting, it's entertainment, yeah. people are buying tickets, now they're a bank, right? Yeah, so, everything. And so scope. investing, whatever, investing in everything. Industry. Amazing. Exactly. So you've got to be careful of where all these things are headed so that then you can look at your portfolio as an industry and say, okay, where do I play? Am I going to really get to that platform economy? What is my value proposition in all of this? And let me stick to that, what we used to call core business. And let me just, whatever technology we use, whether it's API strategy, et cetera, let me open up and collaborate with others. It's not us versus, us versus them. It's all about, you know, who can get, first to scale. It's not about first to market only. It's like, how do I get my value proposition right? As an example, we all use open table, right, to do reservations mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, you could do that. They, they created a platform, but then they added the value proposition that if you look at some restaurants, you could actually book, even if the restaurant is closed, and they'll take care of it when the restaurant opens. Or if it's a holiday, they'll take care of it, and it'll you know come back later. So, Creating that platform, doing the right value proposition, and removing some of the frictions is what every company is trying to get into. And whether you're an insurance player or a hospitality client or into retail, there's lines sometimes are blurring across industries and within each industry across the people who are are just different players. The whole issue of disintermediation happening, just like we saw in Airbnb or in, in all of these travel, you know, online travel agencies, People get into the value chain, they look at the sliver, offer something better, and then grow into something more, right? So every business leader these days is kind of getting up to speed with digital transformation. But I think this whole area of whatever you use as a platform, but what are you going to really use it for and what's the core of your business is something that we all, you know, advise our clients. 
That's awesome. So, Ashley, I could talk to you about this all day long because I already know when we get going, we're going to get going, but uh, we're about <laughs> out of time for this one. So that being said, um, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Doherty Business Solutions, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out? Yeah, so I would be happy to kind of talk more to any prospect or client or anyone struggling with this area. So my cell phone six seven eight seven one seven nine five eight eight or my email, ashubhati at doherty.com. So definitely love to talk more. Fantastic. And uh, what's the what's the phone number again? A little bit slower this time because some people are like grabbing a pen as we speak. Want to make sure they get it. Absolutely. 678-717-9588. Fantastic. Well, hey, Ashu, it's been uh, great having you on the show today. Um, I love the tips on digital transformation and what's going on and what's interesting to you. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. I mean, love to hear what kind of projects and things you're working on. Um, let's, let's keep the conversation going over in the YouTube community. And Ashu, thanks again for coming on the show.